In an earlier video, we motivated why we want to perform multiple simulations, varying the input parameters, then collect the output, and finally establish an artificial neural network. Quick recap is, for a given set of input values, after running a 10-minute simulation, we get the output values. But if we vary any of these input variables, the output becomes totally different. This is unavoidable. We want to explore this input-output relationship by doing minimum number of simulations. You will find more detailed description in the linked video in the description. Basically, for this study, we ran 64 simulations. Each simulation has a distinct value of blank holder force, biaxial anisotropy, punch friction, and holder friction. And after each simulation, we have also collected the output as the maximum major and minor strain. This is how the collected data would look. This is the number of simulations starting from 0 going to 63, so 64 simulations. The first column is the blank holder force, second column has 64 values of one friction value, this column has 64 value of another friction value, and this column has the anisotropic uh, ratio value. This is for minor strain and this is for major strain and uh, there is uh, some additional measurement for now we ignore that now we will import this input and output data into matlab and do further processing the text file is imported it has the data in the following order simulation number then uh, this uh, blank holder force then uh, holder friction and then punch friction and isotropy ratio and then major strain minor strain and thickness so we will collect those data from the appropriate column so we have these four inputs and these four outputs now these four inputs are grouped together as a single matrix input and these two are grouped together as a single matrix output now how to use input output to set up a artificial neural network we have described in uh, a couple of videos earlier so you can check in that channel or in the description of this video a quick recap is we will use four hidden layer nodes and use this train lm training function and uh, then just train it so let's train this network So the training is complete we can look quickly into the performance data it looks like we have reasonably good performance and this input output relationship from from 64 simulation has been now captured in this trained neural network named my underscore ann it is now possible to define a set of inputs for example we choose 200 kilonewton of uh, blank holder force 1.2 of anisotropic ratio one friction to be 0 0.12 on and another to be 0 0.15 we can put this input and of course we can do a simulation and see what is the major and minor strain or otherwise we can put these inputs directly into our train network and let's see what we get and we get the major strain is 0.3858 and the minor strain is 1477 if we use these inputs to the simulation and we have checked this is a very good estimation of the simulation but if we wanted to know this value of major minor strain doing a simulation that would take us 10 minutes or more but here when we use this trained network it took us less than a second